Hello everybody and welcome to another live broadcast. Uh, now just give me a moment to share this link and then I'm going to show you guys uh, what I've been up to before I actually start on uh, today's painting. Uh, so just give me a sec here. Sorry, it's taking a bit of uh, time actually to load up. Um, it's probably because I have both Illustrator and Photoshop up and running. I'm actually going to uh, close Illustrator here. It's probably not dealing well with all those files at the same time. All right. 
Almost done. <coughs> Okay, so let me just screen share with you guys. Okay, uh, so um, uh, let me just make sure this is live. There we go. Yep, you're live. All right, guys. Uh, so this is the stuff I've actually been uh, working on. Um, it's uh, two parts. So there's the first part of the competition. Uh, so you can essentially choose two categories and do both. I chose the multiple category and I actually chose to do both the advertisement, uh, this is the ad portion, where it's essentially a brochure that you're creating for this uh, product. I don't know how well this is going to uh, load up here. This is the, the final entry, and I built the vehicle in 3D, and I did some modifications in Photoshop and used Illustrator to actually composite uh, the final finishes. So this is the final image with the 3D render and everything in it. Uh, now, you guys won't be able to hear the audio, uh, but uh, this is actually the video. And audio does make a big difference on this. I don't think it's... Uh, I'm not going to play it here. I'm going to try to give you guys actually the link too so you guys can actually view it on your end. Let's see if I can share this with you guys. All right, there you guys go. Thanks. No problem. Uh, so you can view the video if you want. There we go. So all you guys can see it. Uh, and anybody viewing it should be also able to see this video as well. So I don't know if it's going to stay in the description or not. Um, but it gives you an idea. So that's what I spent pretty much eight hours today working on uh, was finishing this up. I'll get out of here. We All right, so, oh, this is the wrong image that I loaded up. Uh, all right. So, how are you doing? Oh, a little pissed off, but it's okay. It's nothing big. It's just typical school stuff. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, um, what happened was they were just barely getting a lab for a class, and it's like fourth week of school is already ending, so it's not only are we frustrated, but the professor is also frustrated, and like they said, okay, well, the labs are going to be open, you can have access to that Friday, Saturday, and Sunday if you want, and we're just like, seriously?
because they're supposed to have the labs every Monday and Wednesday, and nope, we don't. That's not cool, man. Yeah. So I'm going to have to be up early tomorrow morning working on assignments. And so I'm going to have the unfortunate joy of being at school on a Saturday. Great. That's always a joy. Yeah. And right now, two of my favorite singers, well, one of them is a former favorite singer, and now I just don't like it so much anymore, are kind of at each other's throats. Oh. Yeah. Um, what would be the... <laughs> that seems so counterproductive. Well, what happened was they used to be in a band called Tattoo, and... They had to pretend to be lesbians, and they were very supportive of the gay community, and then um, one of them recently came out and said, I condemn all homosexual men, blah, 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 and the other one like, is like, shot it back at the other one, like, how could, she didn't say anything towards her directly, but she says, I am Christian, but I believe that God loves everyone, I'm like, oh. Uh, yeah, oh, so he condemned people to burn to hell because they didn't follow his beliefs. It's a biological thing, so technically he's screwed up somewhere. Yeah. <clears throat> but it's just like... Yeah, no. It's like, oh, there went the quality of half of tattoo songs for me. That sucks, man. It does. Um... <laughs> Oh, wait. This is an older version. This isn't the new version. Uh, okay, well, now I know where it's located. Actually, I'll say I'm doing this the hard way. There. Ooh, please tell me I did not lose all my stuff on this. That would totally suck. Uh... Huh. What's this? Sorry, guys, there's going to be a minor delay as I try to figure out what's actually going on with my file. Why is there... Oh, and there's also like a million mosquitoes outside right now, so that's not fun at all for anyone. Oh, mosquitoes. Unless you're a dragonfly. Oh, good. The dragonflies, don't they eat mosquitoes? Yes, they do. Oh, that's weird. Why is this saved as... Okay. We're just going to open this from scratch. Erg. That's pretty much my week. Sounds like a pretty crummy week. Oh mm. man, preachy dude is on. Preachy dude. Oh, I hate being people being preachy on YouTube. Ah, uh, especially when they're an ad. On oh, my favorite channel, it's the most annoying. I uh, want to hear something hilarious. There is this channel for a show called The Most Popular Girls in School, and it's pretty much these Barbie dolls where people 
voice act and throw as many swear words in there. And sometimes I get the United Methodist Church ad before each show. Really? Yeah. But the thing that I don't understand is, like, YouTube is supposed to base these advertisements off of what you've watched in, like, past history searches. It must do a very poor job, because I watch stuff like Bill Nye versus the Creationalists. So it's like, why is this showing up? Who knows? Um, yeah. Anyways... I'm I didn't lose my file, which is awesome. <laughs> I'm wondering why they decided to put that commercial, because Ben has also told me that it's based on what you Google. Yeah, I never Google religion, though. And he said if you don't really Google anything, they'll just throw generic crap at you, which explains why they throw guy code commercials at me. Oh, okay. Because well, I told see you... If anything, I would assume that they would show me advertisements for softwares that I'm using, which is totally feasible. Like, I don't know, Adobe Suite, After Effects, 3D software. That's what I'm Googling 90% of the time. Right now, anyway, because of the competition. Because uh, I was literally learning the software <laughs> as I was working on it. Um, Yeah, no, it didn't show me any of those. It just showed me preachy stuff and weight loss, which is confusing because, once again, I haven't been searching that. So, Well, it's funny because I, I Google a bunch of... Um, for Sometimes it gives me an art commercial, which is actually very relieving, to be honest. <laughs> and um, for a little bit, when I was comparing computers, it gave me a few Chromebook advertisements that had nothing to do with my judgment to buy one. Okay, that's fair. Because I think Chromebook commercials are kind of stupid, to be honest. Yeah, they're generally not very interesting. Like, I get the convenience of it. Oh, I got an update from Facebook. Ah, uh, it's a weird image. Okay. Uh, that's an interesting snake, and that will probably go color-wise with this. Okay, and create a new layer here. I'm so glad I turned the camera off. Because I've also been having crazy nasal issues this whole week, too. Oh, allergy season for you guys? Yeah, it's always allergy season for me. And does it ever get cold, then? Um, like, minus the 30 season. weather? Huh? <laughs> like, minus 30 weather? Oh, maybe once every four years. Oh, okay, that's not bad. And it's, like, crazy. Like, one time they actually had to cancel classes because it got so cold. Well, because you guys aren't used to it, too. Yeah, but, like... I understand it's that most different. of the time... <laughs> it's different if you guys slowly experience the temperature change versus if it just happens. If it just happens, then your body doesn't have time to acclimatize to it. Yeah, that's what happens to most people. And, like, the biggest trick you can ever do to, like, well, at least if you're in Canada or a place that's as cold and frigid as uh, we get here uh, on the occasion, the best thing you can do, I think I have that stupid advertisement again already. <sighs> so annoying. It's like, I wish I could, like, boo advertisements and tell, like, literally... Tell, find a way to tell them, say, like, no, this is not what I'm interested in. YouTube was doing that for about one month a few months ago. I was wondering, why did you stop? That's a great thing to do, YouTube. Well, it is, and a lot of it has to do with the, the fact that they just 
oversaturate the same advertisement over and over again. I can understand that there's probably only so many backers or so many people who want to show you ads, but at the same time, it's really annoying. Well, like usually, what they give me is a Geico, like any of the pig ad advertisements from Geico. I'm just like, I want to murder that pig. It's not cute anymore. It's not funny anymore. I want to murder it. Well, that's the thing. Is like, <laughs> they like literally desensitize you to it. It's like, oh, well, I don't want anything to do with this product now because you've just made me sick of it. I don't know if everybody feels that way, but when I... I feel that way. Like, there's certain advertisements I do not mind watching constantly. Like, there was one uh, for the soccer uh, game, or I think that was being hosted by Brazil. And it was interesting enough that 90% of the time, I would actually stop watching what I was watching and watch it. Well, actually, there's this one advertisement that I wish YouTube would advertise the hell out of. It's for a product called Pooh Puri. And it, it has. Huh? Pooh Puri? Uh, I don't think I've heard of it. I'll link you to it later. It is. Like, I kid you not, the first time it came on it, I fell off my chair laughing in public. And it's this very, very educated woman with an English accent talking about shit. Oh, I actually don't like those advertisements. Oh, I like those. <laughs> they funny. don't they don't follow my sense of humor though. The product actually works, I did buy it. <laughs> Like, I'm sure that some of my friends and family members may enjoy it. It's just not me. It just doesn't. Yeah. It, it got to me because uh, my family has a weak spot for toilet humor. Yeah, see, I definitely don't have that. Yeah. Um, another advertisement I like. There was this one advertisement being done by Verizon for a while. That was pretty much, I thought should have been sent to more videos where it was like this one girl who like is interested in math and science and everyone keeps on telling her, no, 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 don't do that. And I was like, don't you think you should tell her that she's more than pretty at the very end? Huh. That's interesting. Yeah, like, um, it was, I liked the ad very much, but I was like, um, I can't help but, you feel, but feel this ad is preaching to the choir when it's played for me. Yeah. Well, you also have to ask yourself, is is that actually what their concern is? Or... Oh, it, is was it... A, it was a Verizon commercial, but they didn't advertise any phones at all in the commercial. So it was a public... It was a public service announcement. Oh, okay. <laughs> Did a judge slap their wrist and say, hey, stop doing this. I'm going to make you do public service stuff now. I don't know. Like, it's very, like I find it very strange that Verizon was doing the public it's, service announcement. I love it, but... It's a good one from the sounds of it. Yeah, However, it's a really good one. Um, it's kind of out of character, isn't it? It is considering that Verizon is a phone company and most phone companies are evil. Well, yeah, because they're also in charge of cable, aren't they? Actually, no. No? Um, Verizon... They just charge you a crazy amount of... Oh, no, 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 that's at and That's at and Oh, okay. Um, I think it was just recent that they started offering Wi-Fi and just Wi-Fi alone, not um, cable. So I thought they they did cable as well. No, I or I maybe it's anything. just specific areas. It may be specific areas because um in my city they kind of have only one cable provider and it's Time Warner. So. Okay. All right. So Time Warner probably has a monopoly. That's probably the only reason. Because I'm pretty sure. I think I hear another. Okay, I can accept this advertisement. I have no idea what they're talking about. But I can accept this. What is it? 
Firefly. How long is this? This is 13 minutes. Whatever. I love Firefly. Well, I haven't seen it before, so... If you ever I decide to watch it... Once. If you ever decide to watch Firefly, watch it very slow, because there's only 13 episodes and a movie. Yeah, I heard about that, because it got cancelled a bit in its youth. Because of Fox, and Fox cancels everything. Yeah. Oh, I'm experiencing so much lag. a long ad. Why would they be doing advertisements for Firefly unless they're planning to bring it back? Well, it, it's kind of back except it's in comic book format so only diehard fans with... Know about it? Yeah, and people that have no issue spending about $5 at the most a month on an issue, so... $5 isn't bad if you like the content. Yeah, like, um, when I was reading comics, and, like, I got into them about a few years ago, and I've lost track, I fell behind, so I can't really read them anymore. Shame on me. Oh, you could, but it'd just be problematic to catch up. Yeah, like, um, DC charges about $3 per issue, and Marvel charges $4. So, like, it's a very... Wow, that's uh That's a great form of that's entertainment. That's online too, right? Huh? That's online too, right? Uh yeah, and so like it's actually a great form of entertainment for less than five dollars, so um parents listening, if you wanna be cheap but want your children to be entertained, buy them comic books. Hey, at least they're reading. This is true. Like to be honest, that's how my mom got me to read. I hated reading. But then, I picked up this... Okay, which was the first one? I Yeah, no, I was definitely younger at that age. Um, yeah, it was, I think, a Superman comic novel or something like that. It was like... I guess it was a kid's version. And it was yeah. um, the background story. That's how my parents got me to read. Because I asked them to read it like so many times they're like nope you're reading now I'm like but but nope <laughs> and it um, worked what's it called it's kind of a shame I wish they would make more comics aimed for kids that would last more than a year because a lot of the stuff now is um, kind of a teenage adult demographic yeah it's definitely not for little kids <laughs> And I'm just like, you guys, you got to do something more than the Teen Titans on the TV before the kids. Yeah. And so for a little bit before I decided to finally set my foot down and stick, go to environmental science, I was really, I was interested in getting a graphics design degree just so that I could go into comic books and make comics for kids. Mm. It's worthwhile cause. It is. Definitely actually. something I would not be able to do considering well, I could do it, I would just not enjoy it. Well it's funny because I'm my stuff. <laughs> yeah, you could not do a book for kids. Uh, I can. I just wouldn't enjoy it. There's a difference. Oh that's true. Because in school all I drew was cartoons. Because that Same. was a course. Well, it wasn't a course, it was just out of boredom, and I would draw anime and manga. Or is it manga?
Yeah, um, I just think it's a shame that more kids, like I think comic books are good, but I think it's a shame that they don't really target it towards kids. They used to. Yeah, back in the day when it was like, before Gwen Stacy died. Well, I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that uh, for the longest time there was huge censorships too on what you could write and show in comic books. So I guess it's kind of more of a rebellion thing. It's like, no, we're not doing that because... That and I think they're trying to prove almost a point too. It's like, no, comic books are not just for kids, they're actually for adults. You see, but I kind of have a... Oh man, another religion... What the hell, man? <laughs> those ads are annoying. I can't wait to get those CDs in. <laughs> Like, I literally just ordered them today. I was like, no, nope, I'm not putting up with this. Uh, what was I going to say again? I don't know, like, um, I've always... I kind of have this strange argument against the entertainment industry where right now it looks like the only th the only shows that have to be taken seriously by adults um, have to have swearing and as much sex appeal in it as possible. I'm just like, no, 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 you don't need to do that to attract adults to your show, trust me. Well, if that comment was true, then people would not have been, like adults would not have been interested in watching... Um, <clears throat> The Avatar series. <coughs> yeah, like that supports my point. Because they had a great story and a lot of moments that were not safe for kids. And adults loved that. And um, one of my biggest issues is that in terms of animation, a lot of people, when they think of an adult cartoon, they think of Family Guy or Aqua Teen Hunger Force. Oh, there's so much darker stuff out there. <laughs> like the the old Spawn. Oh, these are awesome too. The old Spawn uh, animated cartoons were crazy. dark. They were great, but oh wow, even for me that was dark. Um I'd say the darkest thing I saw before I started getting more into anime was um the movie The Wall in terms of animation, because that just freaked me out as a kid. I've never even heard of it. Um, yeah, it's pretty much a movie version of the Pink Floyd album. Oh. Is it good? Yeah, it's good. It transitions between live action and animation, and it's pretty cool. Oh, okay. Wow, that looks a hundred times better now. <laughs> Still got a lot of work to do, but it looks a hundred times better. As for reading, um, the first book that actually got me hooked onto reading was A Wrinkle in Time. And I was so disappointed when I saw the movie version that came out 10 years ago. Oh, yeah. preach you guys, back up. <laughs> like, there's two of them, and they keep on alternating between those two. And I'm like, no, <laughs> stop. 
It's like, what did I do to deserve this? Ah, uh, well, the thing is, it's like, I don't mind one or two of those ads, but it's every time. And yeah, that's my situation with the Geico ads right now. I'm just like, ha ha ha, this uh, big isn't funny anymore. Yeah. They need to find a way to randomize it to actually make it random. Because clearly it's not. It's just like, oh, well, you looked at this last time, so we're going to keep on showing it to you. Or you forgot to turn me off the moment you heard me, so I'm going to show it to you a hundred times. That legitimately seems to be what's happening. It's like, if I don't immediately turn it off every single time, it's like, oh, okay. So we can keep on showing you this. No! Stop! Yeah. I do not mind supporting people who produce good content. I do mind when the advertisements are as annoying as this. I've actually been wondering if Ben asked, when wanted to ask when if he's going to do a commercial for his channel because like there are a few YouTube YouTubers that have commercials for their own channels. Excuse me. Um. Well, I have uh, my behind-the-scenes video, which is, I think, the closest I've come to that. Mm -hmm. Just because I, I don't see any... I don't make money off of my videos, so... Like, it... Yeah. <laughs> Maybe if I actually made some actual cash and YouTube actually let me monetize my content, heaven forbid... I don't know. I, what's it called? I think the person who makes the most money off YouTube right now is Michelle Fan, and she has three billion subscribers. Wow. Or is it one billion? Well, what's her content like then? Makeup and girly stuff. Oh yeah, that's not gonna happen anytime soon. Yeah, but she actually does some pretty badass costumes, though. Oh, I'm sure she does. It's just it. It has nothing to do with my content and my subscribers, and I care more about the, the people I have. Ah. Uh. That and, well, I'll do the, like, when I'm doing my Halloween costume or for a convention, then I will actually show my process and all that, but other than that, I don't generally show my costumes that I make. Unless all my subscribers on my channel start screaming and say, hey, we want to see it, then I might reconsider. But um, first and foremost, uh, the content that I have right now is I'm going to stay true to because that's what people watch. That, that's what my fans watch. Yeah. When I was younger, I was interested in the whole get famous on YouTube thing, and then I kind of realized I didn't really have a gimmick. And the first thing you got to do... Like well, a me, gimmick only works if you actually care about it. Yeah, like... Because um, <laughs> people can tell when when it is just that, just the gimmick to get people to watch. Oh, you don't shoot. Enjoy. So, you remember those singers that I was telling you about? Yeah. Okay, well, I'm, it's safe to say that they're both has-beens at this point. Because they peaked in 2004 on the MTV Movie Awards, and their careers kind of... Their 15 minutes of fame ended, and they didn't really do anything until the Sochi Olympics. Um, the singer that I was telling you about that said she would condemn her son if he turned out to be gay is actually trending on Facebook. Meh. And it's like on the Huffington Post, I'm like, holy shit, she has her 15 minutes in the spotlight again. Yeah, but at the same time, do you really want to be remembered as a person who... Was a hypocrite in the long yeah, run? Exactly. Like, my big issue is that she thinks that men should be straight because to be procreative. As I'm like, okay, well, if that's your own personal belief, fine. But when she was younger, um, she about she had about two or three abortions. I'm just like, okay, you're going to say all of this 
when you know what you've yeah. done in the past? Um, I've met a lot of people that are very much hypocrites. Oh, man, really? I really wish I could, like... That's so funny you keep on getting those, considering the topic, the tone of... I can't talking. stand it. <laughs> oh, Ben is going to join us. Oh, cool. And he, you can... I might post that link again, then. So that's, uh... I'd like to get his input. He actually ripped me apart last night, because I tried doing Draw It Again, and I'm going to be honest, I fracked up on the what I did. That's how you learn, though. You don't learn through you, your successes. You generally learn through your mistakes. Well, um, I was kind of doing homage to my original art style in, when I was 18, so that's why it kind of looks crappy. And um, I didn't have a flat surface to paint on last night, so um, a lot of the watercolor spilled into each spilled into itself. Oh, that's unfortunate, dude. It is, but um, live and learn. Live and learn. Yes, you do. Otherwise, life would be just boring. And you wouldn't get any better. That's true. Um, oh, I was going to go to DeviantArt. Hey, I've been meaning to ask, how do you feel about llama badges? Neutral. I just personally don't see the point. Like, I appreciate them, people giving them to me, but I'm just like, what's the whole point of me having this? Uh, well, I don't think there's any benefit to it. Just a little... I guess you can call it a trophy. Yeah. I appreciate when people take the time to do it, because obviously they have to actually take the time to That's award true. one. But... Curious to find out if Ben uh, actually purchased the new album that's coming out for the piano guys. Um, I think he would have. I'm assuming he would. Um, I just purchased my pre-order today because literally the, my motivation was like, I can't stand these ads anymore. <laughs> I just can't. <laughs> yeah, I know the feeling. Um, ironically, for YouTube, I don't use it as much for music anymore as I used to. Well, probably because of all the ads. Oh, man, really? Well, at least I can tolerate this and ignore it. <laughs> what is it? Yeah, that's not so I don't bad. know. He's talking about tractors or something. I don't know how YouTube thinks I'm interested in tractors. Oh, it's because I've been looking up car advertisements. Are you going to be there? Um, nine. I'll take you. Okay, nine or ten, whichever. Nine o'clock. Okay. Uh, 9.30. Is that the time you have to get off? Okay. Yeah. Good night. Good night. Love you too, Dad. Bye. Bye. Um, it's the time I have to be in the lab tomorrow. Oh. Yay. Yeah. 
What are you talking about? Oh, um, tractors. Yeah, that's the ads I'm getting. Oh, wow. Photoshop is lagging so much. <laughs> I'm not going to stay too much longer anyway because uh, tomorrow's Saturday, which means I have to walk in the morning and also at night. Which means I have to get up earlier. I have to do what I told you about early in the night, and it's it's just such a drag because um, I went to the well, I did this by accident when I like, oh, hey, I have Fridays off for this semester. And um, I was just like, okay, well, I get a three-day weekend. That's so great. And then to realize I have to go to school on a Saturday to do something that should have been on a Monday. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that sucks. <laughs> Yeah, so um, I'm not going to be a happy camper tomorrow morning. Uh, once upon a time, <laughs> I took oh, business. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, business class, and... Um, one of the guys behind me, he would drink, I think it was Bailey's, and he would have it in his, like, Tim Hortons, along with his Tim Hortons coffee or something. And he would go to class like that. That doesn't sound so fun. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I didn't know him personally. I just knew that they were talking about that. I was like, oh. Right. <laughs> Guess I'm gonna, you know, not talk to you, <laughs> at least when you're in that state. Yeah. Mm, I don't know. I just think I'm the strangest student because, on one hand, um, I do have fairly good student habits. Like I study when I know I need to. Um. I'm very participant in class, and I never sit in the back. That helps. Yeah, and um, which is why I kind of hated high school, because like, they would always sit us in ABC order, and I always ended up in the back, and I was just like, I would always request to sit in the front, and the teacher's like, no, no exceptions. Really? You had yeah. a teacher like that? A lot of my teachers were like that. And, like, I even tried putting the I have poor eyesight because I do card. And I was like, no, no, I'm sorry. Ooh, I don't know if my Photoshop's going to crash. Let's get that. Huh? Keyboard's supposed to still work. Why is the shortcut not working? Oh, now it's working. Wow. I should give more people llama badges. <laughs> when I have this heartburn, though. Excuse me. I don't know there. Are you excused? 
Well, I say excuse me when I do when I do burp, and this is like one of the few times I actually do. Yeah, I don't know if I I should accept that ex excuse. I don't know. Hour, I'm just messing with you. <laughs> oh. Because I can. Because you're over there, and I'm over here. Exactly. I'm out of striking distance. Or, uh, yeah, you are. Yeah, That's... I'm way out of that distance. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I can literally walk into Mexico from where I go to school, so you're pretty damn far. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, what are nice things about stuff? Nice things about YouTube now. I know when I first started using YouTube, I just mainly used it to watch anime. There's a lot of good things about YouTube. Like, anybody like me can complain all they want, but at the same time, YouTube has done a lot for a lot of artists. I learned how to paint without paying for art I'm... classes in college. That's exactly how I learned. Thanks to Ben Yako and his Davos Moon account. And let's see, what else have I learned from YouTube? I learned to... Um, I learn to apply makeup if I don't need to, even I don't need to. Um, how... uh, believe it or not, that same application applies to actual digital painting. Makeup? Oh, okay, I understand why, because of the mascara and stuff like that. Yeah, because um, for me, it's <laughs> I don't put makeup. Uh, so I had to look at actually quite a few videos on how to make up so I could understand how to shade the female face and still to this day that's the first resource I'll go to if I have to sh like paint a girl yeah mm, other things I've learned from YouTube I learned to bake a cake well no I didn't learn how to bake a cake I learned how to bake a souffle because I'm a huge Doctor Who fan Isn't that harder isn't Actually, that like yeah, it is. 100? Yeah. <laughs> Cause um, unless I'm mistaken, it. Ah. Uh, really? What happened? What happened? It, it shifted everything again. I just saw it do it too. Oh. Um, Move. Is that Ben? Yes, it is. I was w waiting to see how long it would take before somebody noticed. Oh, well, I don't have that screen open, so. Oh, by the way, um. I checked the showcase because I have my uh, 3D rendering of my vehicle along with its TV announcement. And since I know you like film of films and stuff, you might actually enjoy it. Hmm. Perhaps. It's only about a minute long. Oh, well, then absolutely. I'll have to throw that in my stuff to watch later. Not the horrible stuff I think you. <laughs> Uh, I will probably be uploading it on YouTube eventually, um, but oh, it's not, not today. Up already. <laughs> uh, it's only on CG Society, ah. uh, which is where the competition is. So you might actually want to pick up the link now, then, because it may be a while before I get the chance to do it. Yeah, a lot of work to do. Yay! Yay! Work. <laughs> Work. I honestly prefer being busy than bored. Um, I don't mind being busy. I just like to be busy not on the weekend. <laughs> yeah, I can kind of understand that. Oh, man. This is a killer, working on these images with this much lag. <laughs> so why do you do it? <laughs> Because I can't stop drawing. <laughs> I'm addicted to drawing. Quick, and let's do an intervention. Yeah. Well, I'm 
come on, I really, will dog? I'm probably setting up my traditional area you soon. Until, but I need a couple uh, days. The show. <laughs> come bother me. You've got to be kidding me. Ah, oh, it's the doggy. I was like, as soon as I sit down, she's going to come in and, and one out. And just. <sighs> it's cause, probably because I'm talking, right? I'm making noise now. Yeah. Okay. I'll let you out. And then forget about you in five minutes. <laughs> uh, I'm actually going to check to see if there's anybody that may have left a comment. Quickly. Tell Apology 89 to shut up. <laughs> Apology 89, shut up. Okay. And if there is still somebody on uh, watching, uh, if you can let me know if the link actually shows up on your end and if you're able to see it. Okay. Um, I'm assuming that you were watching the stream for a bit. No. <laughs> oh, okay. I was actually uh, watching Iron Man. Oh, the original, okay, that's the, 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 the original one. Um, there's a, there's a, well, oh, the first one? First one. First one. Okay. That was good. Now there, there was. It is well. It's the only one, so it's like. Maybe even I have not seen that movie. As I know. What the hell's wrong with you? Um, it it did, it wasn't my cup of tea. I wasn't really interested. <sighs> that Captain so America. On, huh? It was so funny. Captain America was terrible. What are you talking about? It was beautiful. I liked it. It was not. It was no, horrible. I'm talking about. Um. It had a Doctor Who companion in it. I'm sorry, oh, what did you say? Iron Man. Mm. A Iron Man was funny. I liked them. Yes. I liked Captain America. Well, there's I can't rate there. Captain America because I haven't seen it. I, I, didn't, I didn't see it for a long time. And then when I did, I was like, this is not what people I was told it was. And I was told it was much better than this, and it was not. Um, well, I think I think I enjoyed it a lot because I didn't really walk into it with high expectations. It was it was just a setup for the Avengers. That's all it was. All of them were a setup for the Avengers. No. Yes. Yes, it was. Well, the, the, the first Iron Man was not by itself really well it though. Well, the, third okay. one, the third one is set up for the Avengers, but the other two were the other two. Uh, well, I think the third one also sets up uh, the TV series. TV series? Yeah, S.H.I.E.L.D. Oh, oh yeah. Um, There's a lot of those elements in there. And uh, so did Thor, Thor I believe. Uh, it also set that up. It's actually really I, I've good. never seen Thor, and I have really no desire to see Thor. <laughs> I haven't seen it, but they make reference to it. Um, yeah. I've actually seen all of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Um, they make reference to Thor 2, and Captain America 2 has a lot to do with the second half of the season. Is it... Like, I know that Centipede took over. Centipede? You mean Hydra? Oh, sorry. Hydra. Yeah, sorry, that's the other one. That's the other bad guy, which is technically Hydra. It's funny because um, after the World Cup and Germany won, I like post on Facebook. So Germany won, huh? Hail Hydra! That's <laughs> uh, just <laughs> silly. And I killed the conversation. Well, I was interested in the series for a short bit until all the service providers made you actually be attached to a cable company before you could watch it. Yeah. yeah. And I was like, I guess I'm never watching TV again because I hate this model. Well, no, it's okay because they're probably going to put on Netflix because it aired on ABC. And what okay. you could do is... Should I wait until after the show to say this? Because um, Ben told me to do a little trick and it works. Well, I could use a VPN to hide my address and get the American Netflix. 
You could do that. Yeah. I don't know what I told you to do, so. Um, it was already time to watch Attack to what that to watch Attack on Titan, and it recently oh. gone on Netflix. Yeah. But um, I'm kind of too busy to watch Attack to watch anime right now. Unless it's Sailor Moon Crystal. Of course it is. So you're a liar. Um, oh. Well, I have a question oh. for you, uh, Ben. Um, uh-huh. I'm a s- wait. Let me just. I can't hear you right now. <laughs> um, did you order the new Piano Guys uh, CD? I have not. I it'll probably be a little while before I get it. Okay. Well, it makes sense. Um, <laughs> yeah. I did. I I think the 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 one. The 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 second one I think I may have pre-ordered, but I'm not sure. Okay, I actually just ordered all three today because I'm like, oh. YouTube, it's too annoying. <laughs> well, because of all the ads, yeah. like it's really annoying. Mm. Mm-hmm. So, but I wanted the physical copy though. Yes, I think yes. I was saying about about how I because I was in the founders one when I got the I got the shirt in the founders. Uh, club thing, and I got the first CD signed. Uh, that's a signed copy, which is pretty neat. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. Uh, they have that option now. Oh, do they? But, yeah, they do on their website. Uh, you can, like, they have the CD and then they have the deluxe one. I'm assuming it has the extra features. Yeah, the, uh, I'm, the second one, the deluxe one, actually comes with the DVD of the videos. Oh, okay, cool. Because that's what I was hoping to get. That, yeah. mm-hmm. Okay, perfect. That is good to hear. I assume because of the price range, that's what was happening. Yeah. Okay, they think I'm a teenager now on Google. All right. <laughs> oh, wow. This is getting pretty intense, man. You know that thing that I was telling you about last night? Yes. He's trending. Like, actually oh, trending. That's terrible. It is terrible. You know what? People are rewarding bad behavior. <laughs> I don't like yeah. it. Well, get used yeah. to it. Uh, it's just. I will not follow people that I do not agree with their point of view. Simple as that. Because I know that the moment I do, I'm actually helping them become more successful. But it, you know what? Um, her former co-singer is taking the opposite standpoint. So people, hashtag Lena Katina. Uh huh. She's the redhead of the group. Okay. I kind of don't care. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, neither do I. <laughs> Shut down. Oh. I want to see what you two are drawing. I'm tired of looking at Facebook. Oh, that looks nice, Ben. Oh, thank you. I'm just putzing. <laughs> I'm oh. desperately trying to paint this <laughs> with so much lag. I do like one bus- brush stroke, and it's like a full second before the stroke actually appears on my screen. Oh man! <laughs> it's like oh, it's have, horrible. Have, have you tr- have you tried the, ske- the sketchbook yet? I mean, really? <laughs> uh, it just helps to get the line work done first, and they can just throw in whatever color you want. Later. Well, that's the thing is, like, I already have the the composition all that it's done. I'm just coloring it, yeah, and painting it. It's just, and I hate to say it like this, but it only happens when I have people along with the stream. So I think it's <laughs> no, no, it's Google. It's that's the thing. No, it isn't. It's Google. <laughs> Always blaming Google. Well, what I think is happening is that. Uh, in order to have that amount of feedback, it has to ping to all three of us before it gets back. Mm-hmm. Or mm-hmm. I'm assuming it's something around those lines. I'm not a huge tech person, so I don't know. Um, I, don't, but I don't know how it works exactly, but I know that it works. <laughs> and yeah. has, so, so there's, there's I, I think, a couple different factors. The only two that I actually know about are how fast is your computer and how fast is your network. Well, it's, it's lagging as much... Issue. It's lagging as much as my laptop, and this is way more powerful than my laptop. Oh. 
Let's look it up. <laughs> then you'll be like, oh, there's nothing available for it. I'm really hoping that some other artists figured out a way. Because <laughs> all artists I, do live stream. So, some other artists actually use live stream or one of the other services. Yeah, and they don't seem to have that same issue, but they also have the... I don't think they can have multiple people. They have the chat instead, which for me would yeah. be a nice compromise because then I would be able to chat with everybody. I think well, live stream might be... You live might be stream multiple. It is possible, but I think you have to use Skype along with the live stream or something else. I'm not too sure. And it's not recorded either, so um, there's that too. Oh. Really? Again? Ah, stop showing me this darn ad. <laughs> Cursor. Oh, okay, here we go. Uh, yeah, but it's not for Google. Oh, they may have a solution. Here's a silver imperium crystal. No. <laughs> just, just, just no. Ben hates everything I like. Yeah, I kind of do. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's fine. If, if, if you liked good things, though, I mean. Well, to be fair, the old Sailor Moon anime is did not age well, so. A lot of anime doesn't age well. Um, Outlaw Star is the exception. That anime was badass. And so is Big O. Although, the original Sailor Moon, along with the ones that we were getting in like the late 90s, were already 10 years old, so it's like... Oh, no, 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 no. Um, the Sailor Moon that we got in the late 90s, because um, the anime ran from 1992 to 1997. Yeah, but we didn't get it until, like, what What was it? Like, maybe... 2001. Yeah. So, so there, you know, it's it's already... It was already dated by the time we got it. So it's like, you know... But, like, um... You can't complain as much. By the time we got Sailor Moon, because America didn't really get Sailor Moon anime until about 1995, and it, it looked pretty good for it that time. Right, and it was it was on par with the stuff the U.S. was producing, yeah. at least. But and then you that, find out that, that wasn't that, saying much. And then you <laughs> kind of find out that the U.S. was having all this stuff animated in, like, Korea and Vietnam. Yeah. But, um, let's see. For Disney and Nickelodeon. <laughs> Disney had some uh, stuff animated in, um, Australia of all places. Well, that's still not, um, Asia. <laughs> that sounds, that sounds terrible. But, like, uh, what's it called? My biggest complaint... It does sound that... terrible. <laughs> well, thanks. That is pretty terrible. Shame on you, Ben. <laughs> No, but I know it's also true, because I took animation. <laughs> so. yeah. um, my biggest complaint growing up is that a lot of cartoons had these really action-packed, badass theme songs, and then like the actual show was lacking in terms of action. That's the whole. That was the whole point. What are you talking about? Like, um, I think the only cartoon that didn't do that was Spot Cats. Spot cats. Oh, wow, I but remember. I that now. totally forgot about that. That that wow, even that was existed. Ter that was show was terrible. It had missiles and like actual action, and it wasn't as bad as Captain Planet. Uh, you know, in retrospect, Captain Planet is terrible, but at the time, it was still better than that. <laughs> I disagree. Oh, I'm sad. Now, someone has the scarf in America, the Link scarf. I'm sure a lot of people have it. It's No, no, no. Only 100 people in New York are getting it. Oh, the, the actual thing. Yeah. Not just people making them. Nope, like the actual thing.
So I'm um, back to animation. Um, I was actually throwing out some concept ideas for what could make Captain Planet cooler if it was redone today. And I thought, why not give the planeteers like bending abilities with their rings? That's they kind of had that. I mean, no, but it wasn't like it was just like generic gust of wind, generic shot of fire, like what we see I... on Avatar given to them. Oh, so you just want to make Captain Planet into Avatar then? No, but it would just be like they would. No, that's to... that. That's exactly what you want to do. Yes and no, because like then they wouldn't have to rely on Captain Planet as a juice ex mahina for each episode. Like they could have solved the problem on their own. But then you wouldn't have a show, and it wouldn't be a ger- cheesy generic '90s cartoon. <laughs> this is true. This is true. Back then, all the cartoons were cheesy. Well, in comparison today. Uh, actually, I wait. I don't, I don't know. I mean, there. Well, are... Beetlejuice well, is pretty good. <laughs> then you also had the cartoons where like they mocked uh, the cheesiness, like Animaniacs. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. true. <laughs> Gargoyles was also pretty good. Gargoyles is badass. Yeah, I I miss it. They had an extra season though. Like their last season was weird. It just wasn't as good. They were like rehashing the same ideas, which was unfortunate. Well, a lot of animated shows do that in the, in the last season. Well, like, it was kind of weird, because animation was weird in the 90s. Either you got a season, and maybe a second season if you're lucky, and then you got cancelled. Yep, yeah, pretty much. That's true, yeah. I think Gargoyles was probably... Well, they went on for a very long time, didn't they? They did, and Disney usually cancels its cartoons after two or three seasons. But that was just such a good series. Yeah, like, I think the only exceptions to that rule were Lilo and Stitch the series and maybe Pepper Ann, I'm not sure. I actually never saw a lot of the um, Disney Channel stuff. It was not Disney Channel. It was like... um, it was Disney's one Saturday morning where like we just aired cartoons and still like, it was it wasn't the channel that I watched you know so like I tell people that and I was like oh I was never into the the Disney Channel stuff and they're like what how did you live and I was like I'm sorry yeah. I was watching other stuff um, well, main... well I, then again I don't even know if we got Disney Channel at, the, at that point in time yeah I that was I think more recent. Because uh, no, um, I did not grow up with it either. Uh, no, mind no. you, <laughs> my parents restricted the access to the TV quite a bit. Um, what they had was one Saturday morning on ABC, and they would show the Disney cartoons as a Saturday morning block, and that's all you got in terms of Disney. I flipped over to that channel for um, reruns of Beacon's World, and... Pepper Ann and Winnie the Pooh, because I just loved Winnie the Pooh. Yeah, Winnie the Pooh. I had Winnie the Pooh on VHS. I had tons of them. Ah, uh, my personal favorite is Eeyore. He got me. <laughs> he got me. Nope, you guys are going to hate me. I wasn't a Winnie the Pooh fan. I don't hate you. I'm leaving. Just kidding. <laughs> All right, well, maybe the stream will speed up. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I, I don't, um, even if you weren't joking, that's still hilarious. <laughs> no, I was totally joking. Because <laughs> it, it can get a, sometimes a bit boring when you're not talking to people. Yeah. It's definitely way more interesting when there's like somebody else. When there's. All um... right. Back to the tractor advertisements. <laughs> Whoa, tractors! Uh, at least show me like a really nice car or something. I can handle that. Oh, and no, cool. there's no cool car advertisements apparently. You Just don't need tractors. a cool car, yeah. Freaking badass tractor. You can keep your sports cars. I'm gonna run it over at the tractor. You know what? Because I've had so many tractor advertisements, I should just design a tractor. When I'm, yeah, I really should. <laughs> I'm not tractor spiteful time. at all. <laughs> uh, I 
Um, let's see, are they good? That should probably be fun. Definitely be a change. Mm-hmm. I won't be able to stay too, too much longer anyway, because uh, tomorrow is a very interesting day, typically for me. Ah, uh, has Photoshop frozen on me? Oh, oh. that's a bad sign. Please. Yeah. Oh, Sambo. Oh, right no. Ah, uh, did you save at least, or did you not save? It's probably better if it didn't save at this point. <laughs> Uh, Better? I don't know. <laughs> uh, if it didn't save, then I know it's not corrupted. Oh, well, that helps. Oh, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> Before you I start, we drink... have the worst luck. I mean, I. <sighs> um, I think I can do a competition, so I have to go to school tomorrow. Are you yeah, off on totally Wait, Saturday? Frozen. Oh, yeah. computer, what's wrong with you? I sang Let It Go too many times. I'm sorry, you said it was Maybe those Windows no. updates are being an issue. Maybe. I just updated, like, 106 updates, apparently, I oh, missed. Oh, man. Well, so, well, if, you, if you don't have them, that's what happens when you don't automatically enable them. Uh, I mean, yeah, but I, they, always, they update during the stream, too, <laughs> which is even worse. Many people wonder why I went over to Chromebook. I really, I still wonder why you went over to Chromebook. I mean, seriously. <laughs> well, for one thing, I don't have as many updates. You also oh, don't have as many programs. Oh, wait. It just deleted my lair. Oh. Boo. Wait. Nope. It's working again. Phew! Save, I was saving save. just in case. <laughs> Hopefully as it's saving, it doesn't decide to nudge the whole air over again. <laughs> it will. Uh, what's wrong with my computer? It used to work so fine. <laughs> Wait. No, this is the one that had Norton on it. Oh, well. yeah. it came with Norton. It was oh, that's that's so why, many nightmares. That's why as soon as you you see it, like oh well, look, this computer comes with Norton. Uninstall. I I deleted it, and I deleted as all the files for it too. That's the thing is I went through and deleted everything, and somehow you, it you, magically you, came back. You actually uninstall it, or did you just delete the files? No, no, I because uninstalled because if you, it. Because, I was going to say, because if you just delete the files, because that ends up causing more problems. No, no, no. I uninstalled it first, and then I deleted the, the rest of the files associated that you don't need. Right. But, yeah, it magically reappeared, and I was like, what? No. No, that's bad. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, and it did that for a while. Wow. Um, Norton is just... It's, I, I it's was a virus. To, I was talking to Greg at some point, and it's like, Norton is like its own virus. It keeps it, everything it else out, but it also installs it itself. So itself. Then it's... In every nook and cranny. Mm -hmm. It's... Oh. Oh. It, yeah, no. There is a progressive no. game on DeviantArt, and I'm actually going to click it. <laughs> no, it's going to give you a virus. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm kidding. Super story. No, because like, um, progressive actually makes... Content that I still consider funny, so. Oh well, you're one of like three people in their grandmother that thinks that think that. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna cut the stream now okay. because <laughs> oh <my laughs> that God. was a close call. <laughs> it plays exactly like a Mario game. The little lady is Mario. That's terrible. Is she, like, jumping on her cane or something? Yeah. Like a pogo? Bling, bling, bling. I don't know. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm curious now. Do you have this on your screen? No. Oh, okay. Uh, do you want me to? <laughs> Maybe pause it. Temporarily, yes. Yeah. I, I am curious. I'm going to close down Photoshop, though, for sure. It is not um, Super Mario, but... 
Okay, I'm gonna but start it, it's playing not, again. It's not what it is. <laughs> Resume. It's more like a chase. Oh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and it's fairly entertaining, so... Oh, crap. And I'm gonna stop showing that now. Yeah, probably. I think I might get us in trouble for playing it. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not like I monetize these things anyway, so I think you're good. No, um, to be fair, it's fairly entertaining, so... So, Yasmin, I did want to uh, hear, your, hear your opinions on this about... Um, well, I switched out my, my nib on my, on my tablet. Because after you said something about how it wears down and I started to notice and everything. So I switched to the, um, the felt one. The one okay. that has a little more texture. And it's funny because I, a lot of people are like, oh, it makes the world of difference, and it's the, I, um, and they're like, oh, it's so much better than just the regular plastic one, and I honestly can't tell the difference. <laughs> I yeah, I'm sure that's true. <laughs> um, when I was looking at all these nibs, I'm like, there's no point. If you can draw, you can yeah. draw. And uh, and I I saw something when I was looking trying to figure out how to change it out. I, I went to their thing and they're like, oh, the textures are different and it might feel a little bit di different on the tablet, but it doesn't actually change the way it draws. I'm like, well, what the, what the hell is the point then? <laughs> yeah, if there's no point at that. <laughs> it, unless it's a difference in performance, right? Oh, actually, yeah. there was one other thing I was going to show makes, you guys. It makes a different sound. That's really everything. Really? Oh God, That's the, the only reason? The dog's still outside. Holy crap. <laughs> you forgot about the dog. Oh, he did tell us that. Typical person. Hi. Before I sign out, I'll show you guys uh, the image I submitted for the competition. I think you saw it, but I don't think Ben saw it. I know Ben will have pride and appreciation because he actually did graphic design professionally. Mm -hmm. uh, so we'll see. <laughs> We'll see how my computer handles Illustrator open. Um, wait, I don't think it opened it up. Mm, wait, is it thinking? Okay, I'll leave it. Uh, <laughs> uh, whoever do I is forget? Watching... <laughs> huh? Um... Yes, I see you now. Okay. I will show you guys uh, what I was working on for the competition, like the flyer for it, because I know that you have a graphic design background for it. Who does? Uh, so you do. I do. You've done graphic design. I've not Haven't really. You? Not really. No. <laughs> what was your former field? Grocery? <laughs> oh, okay. Never mind. I, I, for some reason, I always thought you did graphic design. I've done design oh, well. type stuff. I designed my logos. Okay. And I've done my parents. Make, okay. My parents make wine, and I I make them wine labels, but they make wine. Yeah. Where can That's I get cool. this Ben parents wine? <laughs> um, I think come he needs up, a come up and visit me. Uh, no, okay. I, 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 we can't sell it because we don't have a liquor license. Oh, that's right. Okay, I guess I'm gonna yeah. have to go to Pennsylvania. Yeah, uh, we'll see if I can really even open about, this file about alcohol because we have specific stores. There's the beer store, and then there's the state store or the the wine and spirits store. And if you want wine or spirits, you go to the state store. And if you want beer, you go to the beer store. Makes sense. Because it's state, they're state regulated and taxed. And the, the state stores are owned and operated by the state, which is why they call them state stores. Um, so you can't be like, I want to be a, like, unless you're your own distillery, then you're not, um, 
then you're pretty much not allowed to sell. Like, well, this thing you have to have a stiller's license if you want it to be a if you want to uh, make your own spirits, and um, there's other other things that it would. Yeah, it's it's a weird system. Like like there are states where you can go into like grocery store and they have like aisles of wine. Doesn't happen here. Yeah, my state has aisles of wine. Yeah, and you can't. There there are states where you can buy. You can go to things like I want I want to buy this bottle of whatever vodka online and have it shipped to me. There there are state Pennsylvania is one of the states that you cannot have alcohol shipped to you. That really? Is so strange. Because 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 the state regulates alcohol sales. And you didn't buy it from the state, so they don't get the cut. <laughs> um, well, that's, that's anti-competitive, though. It is, but it's um, yeah, it's it's a weird system. It's they're anti-competitive. Actually, they're, they're trying, they're trying to change it. They're trying. They're actually they. I would say, in probably in the next five years, it'll probably become a privatized thing, and the state won't control it anymore. Like okay. they're like they're they're trying to. To get away from doing that, but right now it's just a pain in the butt. Dang. Mm -hmm. There we go. Uh, so, this, so this maybe, is actually maybe about six or eight other states that that do it the way Pennsylvania does it, but it's whatever. It. It's weird. Um, <laughs> this is actually the the a render of the 3D ship that I had to build for the competition and the brochure associated with it. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah. It it took forever to get it to look cool though. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> um but yeah, so the the T V ad that I I've shared with you guys on the link, it has this I ship. Open the link. And it has the actual full ad and the music and the dialogue and everything in it. So it's it's an ad, it's an actually advertisement. Fake advertisement for well, a time ship. It's a time machine. It is. It's, Delore it's a DeLorean. <laughs> Pretty oh. much. <laughs> I prefer TARDIS. Where it's of course you do. On the inside. Oh, God. Oh, you're such a nerd. <laughs> Nick is talking. I know. We all are. That's, that's why we like to draw so much. <laughs> yep. It's the, are you a drawing nor nerd, or are you a music nerd, or are you a football or nerd? Do write, or do you write self-insert fanfic? <laughs> That's one thing I definitely don't intend to do. <laughs> but yeah, this, this, <laughs> this took so long to do. Uh, believe it or not, figuring out the... Um, the brochure was actually harder than the video. Really? The video, all I did was like, okay, I'm just going to do some quick animations. That's good. All right, do some camera moves. Render that out for several hours. Okay, work on this. And this actually took, I'd say, double the amount of time compared to the actual TV version for me. Double to triple the time. Damn. Double to... It's yeah. double made gum. Yeah. <laughs> it, oh, it was... Oh. And for the the movie portion, I actually had to learn how to animate in Photoshop because I couldn't get the blend shapes to work oh, properly. Oh, that sounds brutal. In, yeah, in Flash, it just wasn't working out correctly. It was turning all globby. I'm like, ah, that doesn't work. I can't use that. It's useless Th to me. Doesn't it have a an auto kind of like Illustrator? It, one of those things it where, where, it, where it smooths the lines? It Yeah, well, it's vectorized. So, because yeah, vector uh, I have Illustrator open right now, um, a lot of this stuff is vectorized. Except for, obviously, the image here. Yeah. Uh, but to do this, I had to for this, I was using three softwares. So I used Moto, which I had a trial version, which expires in two days. So I had to finish it today. Um, and and they literally they had it, the license or the the Moto license. You could use it only for up to the competition end date. It was literally designed that way. 
Um, then I used Photoshop and Illustrator in conjunction to actually do this. And it was a lot of back and forth. Yeah. Because certain things Photoshop is really easy for, and then certain things Illustrator is really easy for. So took a while. Right. <sighs> it was worth it. <laughs> but you're done. Yeah, I'm done. And it's submitted. So Yay. Um, I'm happy. <laughs> Mm, these are my and I had to do this, like normally in 3D softwares, there's you can do passes for different things, so you can change colors and stuff. Right. I couldn't do that because uh, <laughs> uh, I didn't know the software enough, and I couldn't learn it in time because that takes a while longer. I learned yeah. everything else, so I learned like how to render it, I learned how to texture it, I learned how to model it. Uh, this was a hard competition. It was a lot of fun, but oh my god! Yeah, it's <gasps> it's nice to it's nice to give you this, yourself the challenge, though. Oh god, yeah. <sighs> like, if I showed you, I might have the old version of this. I'm gonna open Photoshop though, because it's just gonna be easier for me. Yeah. Uh... Let's see. I like that. I think it's the old version. Huh? I like that blue that you're using. Oh yeah, I wanted it to be um grayer, more sort of dark and mm. there's this um I was telling Yasmin uh uh must have been yesterday, I can't remember, but uh Chris O'Lee, how I bring him up all the time. He did this um one of the podcasts he recently did uh is an interview with a guy that made this uh, short film called Project Arbiter. Mm-hmm. It's really, it's an amazing short film. It's sort of this sci-fi World War II thing, so it seems a little generic, but it's it's really not, uh, especially since considered how low of a budget that they had. But um, oh, was it the video game? No, no, it was okay. a, it's a, it was a, some guy's. I don't know if it was his like senior thesis film or something, but it was. It's really it, the 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 ploy is that it has sort of this big budget look to it. On a really low budget, budget. <laughs> okay, that's actually hard to achieve, though. Yeah, it is, and for what that's they did, super hard. For, for what for what they did with it, it's phenomenal. Um, everything from the little prop details to the soundtrack is is just intense, and I don't remember what I was. Oh, I was gonna say I was gonna say I don't remember what that was, my point was, but the um. I think it was the either the the creator of the project. It was the, the the interview was with the creator of the project and uh and the the composer. I don't know which one of them actually said it. But there's this sort of media buzzword that shows up a lot. Called and it's gritty. Oh, you have to make it more gritty. It's real and gritty. <laughs> and I don't like saying that for some of these things, but that's that's what I'm trying to do with this. So I want I want this to seem gritty. <laughs> Okay. So, th so long, long-winded point. I don't want to say that because it sounds generic, but I'm trying to make this gritty with the, with the dark grayish blue. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, here we go. I have two of the versions. I don't have the really old version, which is ugly. Um. <laughs> well, good. I think. <laughs> Uh, well, because the really old version was really, really bad. Uh, so this was actually the original version. I have to flip over. Uh, so the colors. So were? wait, let the, that's can you can you get them side by side or something? Uh yeah. Because it because it looks the same just compared to the other one. I it's know. very similar. Um, one second, let me get rid of this history thing. There you go. <coughs> Um, the ship is the same. Oh, okay. It's just the background colors. Yeah, you the get background the, colors the gradient. Ties, yeah, it, and it ties all the colors together, that which was, is why that was I that was really smart to do. Yeah, that's that's huge. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. like, that's one of those things that, like, if you actually have a degree in graphic design, it's one of those things they'll teach you. Things like where things like typography and and little little details, yeah. but it's one of those things you change that little thing, and all of a sudden it just pops. 
Well, that and this whole ship, uh, I have the original image, which is, I can show you that. Eh. It's one of these guys here. Oh, okay. Give me a sec. I have to turn off this crappy advertisement. It drives me <laughs> nuts. Oh, man, that, that one advertisement, too. I just can't stand it. Um, I, I, get, I get rum advertisements. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you asked me I prefer the rum advertisements. Yeah, I'd probably end up getting them. <sighs> Although yeah, I've, been getting, I've been getting tequila ones recently now, too. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this is Ooh, the old render. Huh? This is uh, the old render. Okay. So it's much more matte. Oh yeah. Uh, so yeah, really and I figured out what it was. I had a, I actually had to do two render passes, one that was like this, exactly like this, because I had turned off all the background elements, which meant I lost all the reflections in the scene. Right. Oh. Okay. And then I rendered it with the reflections and all the background elements, and I use this to create a mask to isolate the ship. Okay. So, wow. it, yeah. I, I, don't, I, I get the feeling you probably made it harder than you had to. There is a way to set it up, but because I only needed one shot, right? it made sense to do this, because rather than having to learn how to do it and spend about two, three hours learning it, this made yeah. sense. And and if, seeing that that's a that's exported as as a TIFF, I mean that's such a high res. Exactly. Yeah. 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 So <laughs> it made a big difference. <laughs> needs to say. Um, so you can see definitely that the reflections made a difference, but these are not all natural reflections and lighting. Mm -hmm. uh, so this blue part in the nose of the ship is actually done in Photoshop. Right. So you get that artificial light. Exactly. Coming up from the bottom, so it has that sort of glow energy of such. Exactly, and in the back as well. Um, oh, so that yeah, but the, oh, geez, I didn't even... <laughs> yeah. Wow. I, yeah. I, I, saw, I saw it, but I didn't see it. Yeah, I yeah, I totally understand what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, it was, it was, um, it was definitely, it's funny, because, like, uh, projects like these, they take a long time to do properly uh, if you don't know what you're doing. <laughs> in, in, the, in, the long, in the long run, they're fun. They are so much fun uh, just because they are so challenging, though. Like, yeah. I wouldn't have it any other way, to be honest. Like, I enjoy the challenge. Like, I wouldn't have joined this competition if it was a breeze. <laughs> it's like, nah, it's not worth my time. <laughs> it's like, oh, I'm competing against 12-year-olds. All right. <laughs> no, I'm not going to do that. It's a waste of my time. Or I mean, is it? Gets... Uh, yeah. yeah, it totally is. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, they don't even have a chance in most cases. No, that's not always true. Like, I'm sure um, uh, if they grew up like this, then they may actually be way better than me, and that's totally understandable. But the average 12-year-old doesn't know how to do 3D render and do... Right. Use Illustrator and Photoshop in conjunction to break, to produce an advertisement. Yeah, at least not to your knowledge. I mean, some of them might. But yeah, I, you know, maybe Kid Genius out there. There are a few Kid Geniuses that provide tech advice on YouTube. Well, yeah. that makes sense though, because kids are more prone to tweak and to fiddle with things to learn, whereas I don't so... think adults do. Funny story so. about, about about in that same realm of thinking. I actually taught myself to use PowerPoint when I was 10 years old. Yeah, I totally believe it. <laughs> yeah. Um, I then, had to be... And glad. then in... in when I was originally at school in Ohio, and when I came back here uh, to community... Well, I was in community there technically too, but... Um, <laughs> When I came back here, it's like, oh, we have this mandatory thing that you have to take this basic computer class. I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. The, <laughs> the, the final project was a PowerPoint presentation. And I'm like, <laughs> dude. <laughs> and, and, and what's, what's funny is, I mean, I don't say this to be mean to the, the people that were there and actually learning, 
But there yeah. were people like, oh, like taking notes and being a thing. And I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. <laughs> and, well, and and they're looking at me like, what? And I'm like, I've been doing this since I'm t I was 10 years old. I was like, why are you in this class? I'm like, I have to be here. <laughs> yeah. Well, here's the thing, though. Um, most 10 year olds around my age group didn't have computers that had right. internet access or had those software. Right. Well, so if you're not we, exposed we, to software. We had Word, but we, I don't think our copy of Word was legal. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, my, that's my, my my dad was like, "Here, I got this from some guy I know." Oh, yeah, that no. It was um, it was <laughs> office it was, it, it was office 2000. We still have those <laughs> discs actually. And yeah. I actually still prefer office 2000 to the new ones. Mainly uh, because it has mainly because it has a file menu. <laughs> I wait, I think I've office Which version do I have? Hold on a sec. <laughs> I don't even remember. I'm, I think 2007. Our, yeah, I think I might have 2003 right. Oh, I do have 2007. Look at that. Microsoft. <laughs> but um. 2007. 2007 yeah. was a decent version. It is. It, 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 um, it really I, was. Um, I don't think any don't industry know, that has a perpetual what, license uh, yeah. has upgraded. Yeah, I don't know what the new one is. It's it's Office three three sixty five, which I don't know what the numbers and I don't know. Yeah, I but, have um, it. There's really do you? yeah. Uh, well, cause I got it for my laptop because I I for two thousand and seven I ran through all the license keys because I only had three. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Which was sucked. Um, <laughs> cause at least it didn't have the stupid cloud. Uh, yeah. It, there's cloud that's kind of mandatory. I had to find a way to remove it as much as possible. Right. I, I literally just went in there and I was like, I'm just going to delete the file for it. If it mm -hmm. doesn't exist, it can't do anything, right? So, But still, Windows 8 has the cloud. Right. Uh, I can't get rid of that as far as I know. Not really, no. No. But that's the thing is like, if you're in an industry working for a company that has sensitive information, you can't mm -hmm. have these things. Right. Like, to then me, it's... Do you back <sighs> everything up off on your own server and you, you know... Yeah. Like, the cloud is actually a big no-no for anybody who has their own business and right. that's dealing with sensitive information because you can't. Plus, the, the other thing with, with the businesses is when it came to Windows 8, they're like, oh, we or, yeah, we're not training all our people on another operating system again. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's not, no. Like, <laughs> I don't mind the Metro, but it should definitely <laughs> be an option. No, it's fine as long as you customize it. But at the same time, if you have the Metro, you don't need your desktop. <laughs> yes. That's very, so, very true. So, that's the, the thing. The, the biggest thing is, I mean, there were a lot of, like, I'm, I, I love how Lucas has no idea what we're talking about, pretty much. I do, but I'm, I'm talking about stuff with friends. Yeah. Oh, okay. But, um, and, and I, at, at this point, I hate to, to hate on it anymore, especially because I think they're thinking, it's, it's either end of this month or beginning of next month that they're actually sort of releasing their next, I think Windows 9 is like the next uh, thing now. Yeah. Are they seriously we'll going to continue eight. Windows? I just, Windows 8 was just like a huge train well, wreck. There's, uh, those, those in the sort of the tech forums and, and things like that know um, Windows platforms as um, sort of an off and on um, model of yeah. this was good, this was bad. So people think about it as like XP. Or, or actually, we'll go back to. Um, I think it it was it, it was like Windows ninety eight, good. Windows Millennium, terrible. Windows XP, good. Windows Vista, terrible. Windows Windows seven, great. Uh, when Windows uh, or Windows seven, great. Windows eight, nah. You know. Well, uh, Windows so, so eight was are, okay. Windows eight was actually really good for tablets, but not right. It was it was a mobile yes. platform, and then like then they gave it to the, to desktop users, and they're like. No, 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 no. What? No. Well, and I the think, thing is, they I removed think they've key started features. to. I think they've started to realize that now. They're like, okay, 
we're 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 still trying to do the the mobile thing, and that's great. You know, yeah. From what from what I understand, the the Windows 8 tablet experience is phenomenal. Yeah, and that that but, makes but sense. The, but the desktop, case. but the desktop um, experience is is horrible, a, annoying at best. Yeah, you have well. First of all, you have to customize it. So the first thing I did is, <laughs> I had to figure out how to shut down my computer because there was no start button. <laughs> I was like, right. whoa, where is it? I, I remember hearing that as one of those things, like, rather than being, like, two clicks to shut down, it was, like, five. Three. Yeah. Or three. Yeah. Um, what's, what's funny, though... Yeah, about three. A <laughs> couple funny things about, about Windows 8 now is, one, I took this computer class um, last year or something, because I was like, yeah, I'm going to start getting, doing this as a maybe as, as a certificate thing now, and I took the one class, and I'm like, this is driving me insane, yeah. because it's how much I hate school and everything like that. But And then the other thing was, is um, well, well no, this is actually still the first thing. <laughs> I got uh, access to, because I was a student again for, you know, a semester, um, I got access to software downloads, and I was like, oh, look, I can get Windows 8 for free. Oh, I no. Still, I still don't want it. <laughs> yeah, don't. It was free, and I still didn't want it. That, that like, to me, is, like, the, one of the ultimate, like, well, uh, um, from my understand, Go ahead. From my understanding, um, Windows is pretty much just painting over the same generic thing it did yeah. over and over. Like, it was pretty much yeah. Windows right. 88 paint job. Well, then, yeah, paint job, Windows XP, paint job, and Windows XP was pretty good and was barely discontinued, I think, about a year or two ago. Yeah. 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 Well, no, it's uh, XP, it, it hasn't, it's not so much discontinued. Wait, 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 wait. Is that what you said was XP? Um, XP, from my understanding, like, it stopped being compatible about it's, two years ago. Um, I used the wrong wording, I'm sorry. It, the it official support, support the, the, yeah, official support ended in April. Okay. Yeah. And that just means they're not going to update with security things and and bugs. Security patches and all that. Right. But people are still going to run it. You know. Yeah, because yeah. it was good. Right. And then um, Windows Vista, I really, from what I understand, if you installed it onto your already existing PC, stuff was, happened. Um, if you brought a computer with Windows Vista, it wasn't such Fine. a bad thing. Yeah. That, that was the thing, is people yeah. upgraded, and it wasn't, like, their computers weren't good enough for it, and they're yeah. like, this is terrible, and it's like, well, you didn't listen to what they told you to do, but if you bought a new computer with it, it was fine. Yeah. At least at least after the first six months when they released the service pack, because that, that first section where, where they had, like, driver problems and stuff, but af after that, it was much, much better. I don't. I don't want to say, I mean, I didn't. I never actually ran it, but I, I've no. I knew people that ran it, and my grandmother's old computer has it on it still, and it's not terrible. I mean, it it got better within about six months to a year of release, but it still it still wasn't great. It was the way I see it was it was the logical step between XP and Windows Seven, but it yeah. wasn't there yet. Right. <laughs> Like, like um, it was like it was like we're trying, but they still should have waited. <laughs> um, Windows Seven, I gotta agree that it was pretty good. I that's what I run. I think the general consensus is that Windows Seven is good, uh, in comparison it's, to Windows Eight. Where where XP was what everybody ran, Windows Seven is now, like for anyone who still runs XP, fine. But yeah. now it's like Windows Windows Seven is like that's what everybody runs. Yeah. Uh, Windows 8 is like, well, you, what you should be doing for any of the Windows software, though, is you need to optimize it, and Windows 8 is a clear example of that. When I first got my computer, it came with Windows 8, and it took about 10 minutes for it to boot up. So mm -hmm. obviously I looked up online to figure out what was going on. This is a gaming computer. I just bought this crap. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> so I, th I knew it wasn't the computer it was definitely going to be something with the software. So I optimized it and I removed all the animations and guess what? Now it takes like a couple of seconds to boot yeah. up. Yeah. That's just one thing. But that's the thing uh -huh. is like, Windows 8 is fine as long as you customize it to exactly what your needs are. 
-hmm. And I said, you don't need the desktop if you're going to use the start the start menu. Screen thing. Yeah, they should have amalgamated the two. Mm -hmm. That would have been the smart that's, move. That's from from what I, the the couple things that have leaked from Windows nine show the the modern UI tiles in addition to something similar to the traditional start menu. And it okay. and it actually it actually looks really nice. Okay, that's yeah. good to hear because that's that's all they needed to do. Because from like a software per, like perspective, I love the fact that I can customize where and it's all neatly arranged on my screen. I like that because then I, I literally choose only the absolutely necessary software. But at the same time, I want that start menu. There's no way. Yes. Like, that was a big mistake. And I don't mm -hmm. appreciate the searches either because they're very inaccurate. Right. Um, even even a search in Windows 7 is not great. Yeah. Well, you should always show somebody a result. Always. <laughs> yeah. At least one result. And that mm -hmm. doesn't necessarily happen. There's also three categories in Windows 8. Uh, so mm -hmm. if it doesn't show up, you actually have to click on one of those because they don't want you playing with it is essentially what I've understood of it. And <laughs> guess what? I know what I'm doing, so shut up and I'm let play, me use I'm it. Playing with, yeah, right. Like, it, like yeah. at this point, people know how to use computers. Yes. So you, sh you, shouldn't, you shouldn't be trying to to do the Mac thing where it's like, oh, we'll tell you what, what you you need. No, yeah. we know what we need at this point. Well, there are certain exceptions to that rule. My dad is one of them. I mean, yeah, older generations, fine. Yeah. yeah. But I, I can even, understand, but you just don't... People of older generations at this point, they're not going to learn. <laughs> no. Let's be, let's be honest. Yeah. They're not able to even find the search option, to be honest. Right. So it's not a threat to their computer. <laughs> right. Like, like uh, literally. <laughs> well, my thoughts on it, and um, now I really don't have any thoughts. Um, <laughs> it's kind of funny because I was teaching an older man who is in my class not to get a degree but to expand his horizons and education. He literally said that on the first day. Oh. I, I've I've been in class with people like that. Yeah, and um, he was asking me because he went out and bought a laptop, and um, he was literally typing with two fingers. Oh yeah, my dad does yeah. that. Yeah. And you know, um, they, you know how they taught us in school how to type? <laughs> Not they everybody got that this, though. They made us put a sheet of paper on our keypad. Th so that's what they did to me. Yeah. Holy crap. Yeah, um, and it works. I actually, I actually failed typing <laughs> one year. Really? Oh. And what's, what's what's amazing is I I'm very good at typing. <laughs> I'm um, I'm probably like five times as fast as I was back then. <laughs> well, they had like a video game almost for our typing class. Yeah, like, I I had yeah, something okay, like, yeah, like the exact that same too. thing. Then. <laughs> It's like yeah. you have to type as quick it's, as you can, and you can't make a single but they, mistake. But they weren't. But they weren't real sentences. No, they were just they words. Weren't. Yes. But they didn't have that for me, because um, literally nobody in my school district had any computer classes until senior year, and not senior high school, but like high school. Wow, that's terrible. So um, yeah, that's pretty bad. It's kind of funny because I learned how to type from using AIM. Which shows how old I am. Wow. Yeah. And like, um, they're trying to teach me how to type with this program, and when they would monitor me, I would type the proper way, which is bullshit. <laughs> and whenever I actually had to do an assignment, I would type with my aim abilities. <laughs> ASDF JKL semi. Well, no, not like that. But like, I memorized the keyboard through that typing. Yeah. Is there actually a reason why there's a specific layout for the keyboard then? Yes, I yes, know this. Is. I okay. know this. This is so. This is a part of my useless fact knowledge. That's awesome. Okay. <laughs> Tell us already. You well, you said you said you know, but you you may not know as much as I. I don't. I don't not to sound like. Narcissistic, That's us. Not not to sound like narcissistic, but you may not know as much as I do. <laughs> that's, 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 that's not insulting whatsoever. So, on the old typewriters, 
And I'm talking really old, like when Type Fighter first became a thing. Yes, I have one in my room. Oh no! Well, no, no, it's probably not this old, because it's from the 1920s. The, the original layout on a on a on a keyboard to a typewriter was an alphabetical order: A, B, C, D, and then the next line, you know, whatever. Okay. So, so if your key, if your typewriter is old enough that your keys are in, in alphabetical order, then it's one of the original ones. And what they found out was that when you're t- typing. Um, what happened was the hammers that that hit the the ink down onto the page were getting caught on each other, because you'd hit things like like a lot of the vowels, specifically okay. like e and i, and the 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 way the hammers end up hitting the page, they're close together. So you'd do like an e and an i real fast, and they'd get caught on each other and get jammed, and you'd have to flip them back over and whatever. So the QWERTY keyboard layout was designed to space out the common keys so the hammers wouldn't get caught on each other. Oh, that's interesting. Right. And people are like, oh, well, it's, st- it's still not a very efficient way to type because your fingers are moving a lot. And you're like, why is this the standard? What's well, the standard? Because that's what you use on typewriters. But I think yeah. it was, there was a certain, I don't know when it actually happened, but there is actually an alternative keyboard layout uh, called the Dvorak keyboard. Oh. And you're your your center home row are are common letters like like A and S are, are already in there but you get what well, are um you get like R and T and like re- like really common letters so you can type a, a huge number of words still in that cent- central row where your fingers are in, in that sort of home row as they call it that's nice and, there, and there's it's it's the thing is though the reason why it hasn't we haven't switched to it is because it's hard to do. I mean, it's it's hard to retrain yourself to to learn a new system like that. And but people are just they're... so used to it now. That's right. the thing because every keyboard standard is QWERTY. standardized to that. However, it's one of those things like if you ever want to learn how to do it, one there is an option in Windows, and I'm sure Mac probably has one as well, where you can switch the response that your keyboard has to the Dvorak layout. And oh. then if you have an old an older style keyboard, well even not even an older style keyboard, but most keyboards you can pop the keys off and yes, just re- and just and just rearrange them into the Dvorak yeah. layout. So you can do it with an existing keyboard, but it's just, again it's like it's so much work to switch to the new or to, yeah. to a new thing and, and to relearn it. And especially if you if you were trained on QWERTY, from what I understand, if you're trying to retrain yourself, sometimes you'll lapse back into yeah. the old system, and you're still yeah. typing, and then you have gibberish. <laughs> yeah, but well, because that's that, the thing. That is the... all used to learning that way specifically. Because right. it was like, hammered into our little noggins when we were like little kids. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You're going to learn this now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna learn anything. In short, well, the, the history of the keyboard. That is very interesting. I'm happy you shared yeah. that because I'm gonna I'm gonna cut the stream now anyway. Okay. Uh, on that note, at least it's a great ending. Yes, I suppose. Uh, so thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see you guys soon. So thank you and take care. I don't know if you guys want to say goodbye as well. Goodbye, listen to Lena Katina. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, my stuff as always, cinderblockstudios.com.